let's continue um, with the whole energy front. Uh, let's get into what he told you on crude oil. Well, first of all, crude oil is a, all right. Let me go back just a ways. You remember two years ago, this individual called me on the phone. He was very angry at me because of something I had said. He threatened me. And at the time, I made, uh, I tried to be friends with him, and he said the price of crude oil is going for $147 a barrel to $50 a barrel. I came on InfoWars. I told that two months later it took place exactly like he said it. Now, folks, you can believe this also. There is going to be a definite move in crude oil prices immediately. You had best get your dinner table ready for it. All of you truck drivers out there, I beg of you to, to take note of this. Two years ago, I said it was going down. It's over. Here's the sign. Watch crude oil. Okay. He gave to me a year ago, this individual, this elitist, he said to me, I want to give you a sign, Chaplain Williams, and I think he was giving it to me so that I could prepare my own personal household. I'm going to read it to you exactly like he said it a year ago. He said, watch crude oil prices, and you will know the progression of the elitist in their program. These are his exact words. Now, where is crude oil going? You've seen it just within the past few days. Diesel fuel in my area has gone up 10 cents a gallon. Crude oil is going back. Are you ready? Here we are. Stay Lock there. Stay there. We got to go to break. It was going up. Lindsay, we got to go to break. Come back. We'll get into all this in detail on the other side. We'll get into Iran. We'll get into the elitist. Uh, basically getting themselves ready for total collapse. We'll talk about it all with Lindsey Williams. Key information. Call everybody you know. Tell them to tune in right now. This is important information. We'll be right back. Okay, he got cut off by the break. Lindsey Williams, his top globalist source, is terminal with cancer. Spilt his guts to him. And remember back, uh, you know, two and a half years ago, uh, oil was $50, sometimes even lower, $45 a barrel crude oil. He said it's going to over 140 in the next couple months. It did. It went to 149, 150. Uh, and then he announced, okay, now it's going to go down. And it went down. Uh, and, and, you know, so many other predictions that have come true. But again, this, this, this guy, this top globalist, they might be feeding him real info the whole time to later give us disinfo. I'm, I'm not saying it is. It's just that, you know, it, 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 it's not like you know, God's appearing before us and telling us this. But it is very important because of the track record. And I also trust Lindsey Williams. Uh, but uh, Lindsey continuing. So what's the time frame on crude oil? Uh, break it down for us. The track record of my elitist friends who's been giving me this information over the past 35 years has been impeccable. Everything he has ever said has happened exactly like he said it. Now, you can take this. I'm trying my best to warn you what they're going to do. I don't want to frighten you. I want to let you know the facts so that you can do something about it. A little under two years ago, this individual said to me, and I'm still sitting here stunned that he has been able to fulfill this exactly like they said. He said to me, Chaplain, within two years, you will be so poor you will not be able to do anything about it. Now, I'm quoting him verbatim just under two years ago. Here we are two years later, and he is, and they're indicating that they're going to take crude oil now and turn it around in the opposite direction to where it went. Folks, get ready. You will be paying at the gas pump, and I'm going to give you the amount that it's going up to, and I'll give you an approximate as to what the time frame for all of this is. Again, let me repeat his sign he gave me a sign one year ago, and he's, this is so important. Write it down. Watch crude oil prices, and you will know the progression of the elite. Now that they have started back up with their crude oil prices, this means that their program is on schedule. They're doing exactly what they've been telling me over these years they were going to do. Here it is. Here's the price. Crude oil is going back to 152 $200 a barrel. Gasoline at the gas pump will be 4 to $5 a gallon. This is going to contrive massive inflation. Can you imagine what this is going to do to airline fares? With the airlines, I know they're making money right, right now. They're one of the most viable uh, businesses in America. Can you imagine what this is going to do to the trucks and freight line prices? Can you imagine what this will do to the grocery store and the hardware store? Because every bit of it is hauled by either a diesel train or a truck. 
right down the And road. now the All Al Gores and others are positioned back. to roll out with their solution the, quote, green economy that they control. Yes, and the, the, every bit of this is part of their total program of what they're going to do. Now, what Janet Napolitano said only moments ago on national news on a special bulletin that they are very concerned about a cyber attack. Do you realize what this would do to crude oil prices when you went to, for instance, you go to the service station and you can't use your credit card? You go to the grocery store and you've got to have cash. And if you don't have cash... The cash registers aren't working because the Internet has already broken down. Did he say anything well, about that? The panel told you in advance what they're going to do. Well, certainly. We know the government uh, launched the uh, worm attack. Did he say anything specifically about cyber attacks to you? Did not mention that. It just so happened that Janet Napolitano came on over. No, that. no, they're hyping. Only the moments before I came on your program, and yet I had been told back about a week ago by this individual who had lunch with Janet Napolitano in Washington only last Thursday, I believe it was, that something major was about to take place and to get ready because it was going to happen. So when I saw that take place this morning, when I heard her announcement, I said, here are buzzwords. They're but she told to you more. That's what they're going to do. But this person that had uh, lunch with the... Uh Head of Homeland Security, she reportedly told her, get six months of food and water ready? Yeah, I need to give some background to this in a few months, but that's exactly what Janet Napolitano told her personally at a lunch, a private lunch that she and Janet Napolitano had. And she said, I want you to go straight home, get six months worth of food and water stored in your house. Something is about to happen. I can't tell you what it is. Well, it could just be another stock market collapse with all this mortgage news, or it could be a cyber attack. These people are trying to pass in the next lame duck session their cybersecurity takeover. It's already in place. They just want to formalize it with everybody. Uh, stay there, Lindsay. Long segment coming up. I want to go through more of when uh, this individual believes it's going to 150 a barrel to 200. That means $5 plus a gallon of gas. You're saying within six to eight months from this source. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, so many of the other issues, and not just things on my list, but uh, other things he told you. We're going to run through those when we come back. Our guest, uh, and of course, he has the website reformation.org. We'll tell you about some of his books and films as well before he leaves us. We can find out more there. Okay, Lindsay, I, I want to go to calls, but I don't want to interrupt you. So run through the list I've got. Uh, uh, break down what Napolitano told one of your good friends. And, and, and again, there's a lot of rich people live in Austin that I've bumped into over the years. I remember I talked about it four years ago. Uh, one of the richest women in America said she was moving to the Cook Islands because, quote, America won't be here. And it was, she said, basically the derivatives coming up. That was two years before the crash of 08. Now, two years ago in October of 08. Uh, we now headlines, you know, rich fleeing U.S., rich fleeing Europe. Uh, the uh, Of the top ten richest Israelis, the BBC headline a few months ago, I believe, was six of the richest have sold their houses and left I Israel. I mean, what do they know? There is an evacuation taking place of the elitist. Uh, and so we're going to get into that, get into the other facets on gold, get into the other facets on the mortgage situation, Iran. Let, uh, uh, let's cover what Napolitano told your associate. Let's cover Iran. Let's cover the mortgages, gold and silver, devil's messiah, what he told you about a world religious leader. All of this, uh, let's go over it. And then anything else in your notes that you didn't give us yesterday in that talk we had. Lindsey Williams. There is a very prominent Hisp Hispanic political activist in Phoenix, Arizona. A very devout Christian this person is. Uh, as you remember, Janet Napolitano, who is now the director of Homeland Security, was the governor of Arizona prior to going to Washington under the present administration. Uh, when Janet Napolitano went to Washington, she asked this very prominent activist, whose name I have in front of me right here, I could call her on the phone if I wanted to, and she asked her to come to Washington and be the liaison between the Hispanic community of America and uh, Homeland Security. Uh, at the time, they offered her a job. Of, they offered her a salary of $170,000 if she would take this position. When she finally was approved and went to Washington to take a position, Janet said now, uh, and called her by name, said, you, you cannot talk about certain things if you're going to come here. I know you're a Christian, but she said, you cannot talk about abortion. You cannot talk about homosexuality. You cannot 
talk about, uh, and you cannot disagree with the present administration in any manner, uh, but she said, we'd like you to take the job. Well, this individual, very strong Christian, said, I'm sorry, Janet, I can't give up my Christian convictions for the sake of $170,000 a year. She said, I can't take the job. As a result, didn't. Last week, this individual was back in Washington again trying to raise money, of trying to get some grants for some of her Hispanic organizations, and Janet Napolitano heard that she was in Washington. Janet called her on the phone and said, Will you please let's have lunch together? They did. I think it was Thursday of last week. This is recent. I'm not talking about two, three, four, five weeks ago, a month ago. I'm talking about last week. This individual just got back to Phoenix, and she said, in the course of the conversation, Janet said, now, I am only saying this to some very close friends of mine. And she said, I want you to go back to Phoenix, and the first thing I want you to do is store in your house six months' supply of food and water immediately. And this individual said, Janet, why? She said, I can't tell you. She said, something is about to happen. She said, go back and take care of this right now. Uh, and this was very urgent. And this was Thursday of last week, if I remember correctly. Folks, you've got to understand that what Alex is saying on his show, what you're hearing on InfoWars, this is not fantasy out there someplace. This is for real. These people are ready to do some very drastic things. And fortunately, because of the elitist whom I know and have known over these 35 years, one of whom now is terminal and just about to, uh, to die, they're giving me this information, and I am passing it on to you. I hope that you will take action and do something about it. Janet said to this lady, go home. Get six months supply of food and water. Well, let me stop you there. Your house. Let me something stop you there. Let me stop you there, because this is important. And I'm not saying that she didn't say this. I believe it. This person contacted you, and, and, and it'll be pretty easy for folks to figure out who she is. But I remember in January and February of last year, 1999, year and a half ago or more, we had emergency managers we talked to, newspaper people that talked to emergency managers, Indiana, Vermont, Texas, uh, New York State. We even got documents. This is before the flu broke out. They were saying, oh, this is only for your sheriff. This is only for your police chief. This is only for your threat fusion center. This is only for your mayor. There will be a flu pandemic. It will kill millions. Martial law is coming. And prepare for war with the American people. Harden all your facilities. We wrote stories. We did the interviews. It all, okay, then a few months later in April, in the wrong hemisphere, wrong time of year, a novel flu that top scientists said was engineered popped up, but it was a hoax. It, 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 so again, they use fear to get everybody to do what they want, or they test the fear, and then it's about really giving you a shot that's had other deadly things added to it that is a binary weapon. So I'm not, all I'm saying is I believe she told her this, I believe she called you and told you this, and I know this is what the elitist you know, that I read about the paper and also have a chance to talk to, say that, you know, they've been told, for whatever reason, war, depression, you know, get ready.